And we're joined by Coach Philip Montgomery from Tulsa. Thanks, Coach, for joining us. Uh, Tulsa 1-7 and overall, 0-4 in the American. Uh, Golden Hurricane was in action last Saturday against Tulane. Uh, Tulane won the game 24-17. to uh, Tulsa back at home Saturday against UConn at H.A. Chapman Stadium in Tulsa. Game will be at 7 Eastern, 6 Central on ESPNU. Uh, Coach, if we can get your thoughts on the, uh, the game against Tulane, please, and what you expect to see as you're back at home uh, Saturday night against UConn. Another tough game for us. I mean, obviously a frustrating loss. You take your hat off to Tulane. I thought they played well, came back uh, there in the fourth quarter. Um, got to do a better job when we have leads of sustaining leads and trying to get separation. Uh, got to do a better job of finishing. But uh, got a tough test this week uh, with UConn coming here, and uh, we know we'll have our hands full. So looking forward to getting back on the practice field and trying to get better. Questions for Coach Montgomery, please. Star one on your telephone keypad will put you in the queue. The operator will introduce you. We will now take our next question from Dan Totora from wakeupcalldt.com. Please go ahead. Your line is open. Good morning, Coach. How are you? I'm good, Dan. How are you? Doing well. To uh, to look at uh, you know the season, obviously uh, a lot of adversity that's that's happened with Tulsa this year. But you've played close in a bunch of these games, down to one possession. What has been the disconnect? What are you seeing when you go back to the film of being in these games at the end and then just not being able to kind of get over the hump? Well, a lot of it is just uh, consistency. We got to be, we got to execute at a better level. We got to be consistent throughout. Um, we have times in the game that that we are playing well, and then we just got to be consistent throughout. You know, a lot of that's dealing with young players and at key spots and. And uh, we got to continue to grow at those spots and, and continue to improve. And then, as far as a freshman quarterback Seth Boomer, who's gotten some time this season, just what you've seen from him, and uh, you know what your takeaways have been from Seth up to this point and moving forward. Well, I like his demeanor. Uh, you know, he's he's a he's a coach's kid. He's very coachable. Uh, you know, I think each week he's showing some signs of, of getting better and improving, but obviously, you know, has faced some pretty good defenses up to this point in his uh, four starts, and, and uh, he's just got to continue to grow. You know, with what we do offensively, a lot of it falls uh, on his shoulders, and he's got to continue to make good decisions and be more consistent as as we go throughout games. I thought he showed some improvements this week, and he's got to continue that process. Thank you, Coach, and good luck moving forward. Thanks a lot, Dan. Coach, I'll ask there appears to be no further may. questions. I'll, I'll ask one if I may, Coach. The, um, when you look at UConn coming in, obviously a team that um, has had their struggles with a working with a young defense that has um, uh, been prone to give up some points and yards. Um, consistent with how your own team has improved defensively and even some others in the conference, when you look at teams like SMU and East, and East Carolina who have uh, really made great strides on the defensive side. What are some of the things that um, specifically contributed to the to the specific turnaround that, that you've made on the defensive side? Well, you know, uh, I think schematically we've changed some things that I think fits our personnel better. Uh, I think our guys are playing with a lot of confidence. Uh, we've got some young guys that have stepped up and played well in, in some key spots over there but are still learning. Uh, some of our guys that uh, – have not seen significant action up until this year, have, have really made uh, their mark, I think. And so we just got to continue to play with confidence, uh, continue to tackle well. We gave up some explosive plays last week, which has you know, not really been our case. We've done a better job of eliminating some of those explosive plays that have happened throughout the years. And so uh, anytime you can line up and play it again and continue to make people earn yards, uh, do a great job in the red zone, uh, and you know, create turnovers. That's that's kind of what we're leaning towards. So, uh, I think our defensive staff has done a good job of adjusting our defense to our personnel, and guys are going out and executing well. Thanks for giving us a few minutes this morning, Coach. I look forward to talking to you once again next Monday.